Moscow is in disarray after what appears to be an attack on Russian soil by anti-Putin Russians fighting for Ukraine. As authorities continue clearing the territory following the cross-border incursion that started in Ukraine, residents of the settlements attacked in Russia's Belgrade region have been relocated to other areas, officials said on Tuesday. Regional Governor Vyacheslav Gladkov reported that one civilian perished as a result of the fighting. The Freedom for Russia Legion and Russian Volunteer Corps, two anti-Putin Russian nationalist organizations that are fighting in Ukraine as a part of Kyiv's defense forces, took credit for the attack in the southwestern Russian region of Belgorod, which borders northeastern Ukraine. Mortar and artillery fire was directed at residential and office buildings, as well as civil infrastructure. Several civilians were hurt as a result of these criminal actions, the Russian investigative committee said on Telegram, as it announced an investigation into the attack. The following night, unmanned aerial vehicles UFs, struck two areas of the area, according to Gladkov, setting two homes on fire. A cross-border land operation on Russian targets has apparently been launched by Kiev aligned forces for the first time since Russia invaded Ukraine. According to Alexei Baranovsky of the Russian Armed Opposition Political Center in Kyiv, the political arm of the Freedom for Russia Legion, the operation began on Sunday night, and fighting is ongoing. He refused to say how many fighters had entered Russia from the outside. The group's goal, according to Baranovsky, was to liberate our motherland from the tyranny of Putin. Although Gladkov initially claimed that no one had passed away, he later added. Unfortunately, we have losses. The Ukrainian armed forces killed a civilian from the village of Kazinka. In a daily briefing on Tuesday, the Russian Ministry of Defense claimed that its forces used airstrikes, artillery fire, and military units to drive the attackers back into Ukrainian territory. The statement continued, the remnants of the nationalists were driven back to Ukrainian territory, where they continued to be fired upon until they were totally destroyed. Early on Tuesday, the Freedom for Russia Legion posted on Telegram that it and the Russian Volunteer Corps continued to liberate the Belgorod region. The article referred to the organizations as Patriot Volunteers and asserted that Russia was open to attack because it lacks reserves to deal with military crises. All military personnel are in Ukraine, either dead or wounded. Russia will be free, declares one of its fighters, calling himself Caesar, in a video statement he recorded before joining a cross-border raid into his motherland. In December, while the group was defending Ukraine from Russian attacks on the frontline city of Bakhmut, CNN Sam Kiley spoke with that same combatant. My heart, the heart of a real Russian man, a real Christian, told me that I had to be here to defend the people of Ukraine from the first day of the war, Caesar said. In order to protect his identity, CNN consented to withhold his name. Caesar described the process of joining the Ukrainian effort as very difficult. It took me several months to formally enlist in the Ukrainian nation's defense. Caesar said he was one of about 200 Russian citizens currently fighting alongside Ukrainian troops against their own country's armies. He now has his family in Ukraine, where he believes they are safer. CNN has not been able to independently verify this figure. The complete liberation of Russia was the Freedom for Russia Legion's stated objective in a post on Telegram on Tuesday. According to the report, the goal of the peacekeeping operation in the Belgorod region was to establish a demilitarized zone between Russia and Ukraine, eliminate the security forces that support the Putin regime, and show the Russian people that it was possible to forge localized pockets of resistance and prevail in the struggle against it. It continued, these objectives of the operation were successfully attained. A second anti-Putin Russian group, the Russian Volunteer Corps, RDK, claimed to have carried out cross-border attacks and posted videos of its members inside the Belgorod region on Telegram on Tuesday. CNN has geolocated these videos to the Belgorod region, but it is unable to confirm when they were shot.